Hey everybody, Tom Rag back with you again, and like always, if you like my video, uh, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and also uh, like the video if you uh, are interested in watching it, and it really uh, gives you a little entertainment value at least, or somewhere to vent, I guess, in this case of this video. Uh, like I've said before, I'm planning on giving away 1600 Microsoft points or $20 PSN gift card as soon as I hit 20 subscribers. That's not a whole lot. I only need 17 more at the moment. Now, the purpose of this video is a little bit different than what I have been doing in the past. And myself and Mitchell were playing um, Chaos Mode the other night. And... Uh, we got into this map, obviously it's New Cown, and our problem was our teammates that were on our team were playing hardpoint, were not going for the objectives. They were s simply just camping and going for kills, which is, I can't even begin to explain how frustrating it is that they just sit and go for kills. That near tech right there, uh, level 28 I do believe is what he was sat there on the side of that house the entire game trying to camp for kills and it was so frustrating trying to capture objectives with myself and Mitchell being the only ones going for it now granted some of our other teammates would go for the kills once in a while but right here right here is a great example near tech and the other green arrow were both laying here on the side of the house camping for kills and so myself and Mitchell were getting very frustrated by this um, because it was screwing up our spawns as well we continually spawn on this side of the map and so we decided just uh, kind of harass him now the best part about this whole thing is is a Semtex gets thrown in here shortly and it kills right there kills near tech and myself and Mitchell have flak jacket on because we're playing hardpoint and so we take a little bit of damage but it's nothing too too severe but this whole game it was like that it was myself and Mitchell trying to go in and secure the objectives and clear them out so our team would win right now we're down 29 to 83 we were down a little bit more than that before I just started talking about it and also, if you noticed, Mitchell, uh, back, we were in a private chat, Mitchell backed out, and he was so frustrated, he, he had to back out and start basically yelling at our teammates that were just doing the camping. Um, I think right here, after I die, I back out, yep. Uh, just to kind of hear what Mitchell's talking about to our teammates, and he's extremely frustrated, I'm extremely frustrated as well, and... When you play objective-based games, play the objective. Don't just play for kills, because it it, it, it makes everybody else that's trying to play the game and win very frustrated. And it's happened. I can't, it's happened so many times. I can't even talk about it. And I'm kind of curious for feedback on this. How do you guys? Um, Anybody that's been watching this video deal with the teammates that just go for kills in objective-based gameplay, like Hardpoint, Headquarters, Capture the Flag, anything like that. How do you deal with it? Do you guys just dash for it? Do you continue and play even though you're probably going to lose? Now, in this, um, once in a while, if it's really, really bad and myself and Mitchell don't feel like we can take the uh take control i guess you could say of the game for our team and try and help us get a win we have dashboarded in the past i know it's not exactly the best gameplay or the best strategy or the best sportsmanship if you want to call it that um, but we have dashboarded in the past and so this game we we were kind of talking about before we both left our private chat whether or not we should leave or try and stick it out uh, we decided, luckily, to stick it out. Right now, you can see the score is 93 to 95. Uh, we made a little bit of a comeback so far. And I just got rocked right there. There was, what, three, four, three or four enemies around me. And uh, Remington, not the best choice for uh, weapon. Uh, but anyways... 
I'm kind of curious for feedback on how you guys deal with it. Do you guys harass your teammates like uh, myself and Mitchell would, were doing earlier for the teammates that were camping on the side of the house or the hills? Or do you have any other strategies or suggestions on how to deal with them? Because obviously it happens a lot. Um, whenever we go in and play the chaos or we play strictly hard point or headquarters or anything like that. He may always have teammates that do that. So I'm I'm personally looking for a little feedback on how to deal with it. Uh, do you just keep continually playing the game? Do you leave? Do you try and talk to them in chat? Although I have noticed that a lot of the people that do this, that camp and go for kills in objective based gameplay, don't have mics. And the ones that do have mics are extremely, extremely young. Like I'm talking early teens or maybe 11 or 12 years old. And they don't listen whatsoever. They, they're they like, no, I'm just going for kills, blah, 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 blah. Screw you guys, you know what I'm talking about. And that was a great play right there by that guy. Throwing a bouncing Betty and then throwing the shit. And I got shot from the back. Um, but they don't listen, which is have the hard boys. so infuriating the UAV because inbound. they think they know what they're doing and that they're helping their team out. And like this game, I will admit, this is not, not even close to one of my better games. I go neg like negative seven, I believe. And, but as far as I'm concerned, we're playing an objective-based gameplay, so if I go a negative KD, it doesn't bother me whatsoever, as long as my team wins. Now, I'm not a pro gamer, I don't get paid to play games or anything like that, but I do like to win when I play, I absolutely want to win, and I think most people are like that. So... I, I guess I don't know what else to do besides not play not play objective based games and strictly play UAV team deathmatch but then when you get those players that do go extremely bad with the KD it's just as frustrating as so like negative 10 or negative 20 um be advised. I guess I don't know. Drone Is, and I think when Be advised. they first Hostile came out with no confirm, that was kind of in the hopes to um, get rid of some of the camping that you were seeing going on in Call of Duty games. But I could be wrong on that, considering you don't get as many points as when you go for kills and then pick up the tag as you do if you're just camping there and getting strictly kills. Lightning strike coordinates But I don't inbound. feel like it's worth it. Um, at all, whatsoever. Now, I think it was a great effort from Activision, Treyarch, and Infinity Ward to put in Kill Confirmed. But even in those games, you still just get the people that strictly camp, go for kills, and don't pick up any of the tags. Like, you could have somebody that's a positive 30 or 20 or any variation like that in Kill Confirmed. But if they're not picking up their tags from the kills they've been getting, it does, it does your team no good whatsoever because you can still lose even though you have a positive 30 KD in the game. And obviously my feelings on this are, if you're going to play these types of games, play the objective like hard points, go for the hard points, get your team points so you win the game. If all you want to do is go for kills or kills or streaks or anything like that, I seriously suggest that you go destroyed your UAV. just play team deathmatch or play ground war. There's more people for you to shoot, gives you a better chance to get kill streaks. Anything like that. Just play team deathmatch. Do not come to objective base games and strictly go for kills. It frustrates everybody else on your team that is playing to win. And I guess there's nothing really else, nothing else I can really say to that aside from go, go for the objective, please, because it's so frustrating. Now, luckily in this game, myself and Mitchell were able to come back and win. Uh, yeah, I went negative seven. Mitchell went sixty-two and twenty-three. Uh, if you like the video, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. As well as like the video and don't forget to follow me on Twitter. The link is below in the comments. And uh, leave me some feedback on this if you.